11-year-old Spencer Bayman is passionate about baseball. My goal is to play college baseball. There was only one problem. Spencer was the shortest player on his team. I want to be as tall as these kids. Yeah, Spencer! Come on, Spencer! Gradually, Spencer's parents suspected something was wrong. It really set in one year coming out of winter into spring when he got out his cleats for spring baseball and he put them on they fit. And they never should have fit. Those were from the spring prior. Spencer's parents set up an appointment with Dr. Bert Backrack, the chief of pediatric endocrinology at University of Missouri Healthcare. After careful testing, Dr. Backrack determined a growth hormone deficiency was causing Spencer's growth failure. Growth hormone just doesn't affect your growth, it affects your muscle mass and fat distribution, so that affects your cholesterol, that affects your overall, it also affects your overall sense of well-being. Growth hormone insufficiency is a disorder involving the pituitary gland, which is a small, pea-sized gland located at the base of the brain. It is this gland that produces human growth hormone, among others. Ready? Yeah. Since Spencer started getting a daily hormone injection two years ago, he has grown about 15 centimeters. Still, he has a reminder written in each of his baseball caps. It says HDMH, which means height doesn't measure heart. And heart is something Spencer has plenty of. Carol Pearson, VOA News.